video I'm going to show you how to create your own URL shortener. Um, you've probably used these before. Um, I'm going to show you how to create your own for you to use on your own domain. Um, so first of all, um, just going to create um, a simple um, ph um, hey, index.php um, in a folder called URL shortener. Um, so I'll just show you what this looks like if I load it up. URL shortener. It's just a blank page at the moment. Um, so let's create some. Um, well, let's create a form. So we can have something like enter um, a URL and then form action is equal to index.php the method is um, post and we can end the form off right there and inside um, the form we need an input type um, and this is going to be text the name is going to be um, URL um, we're going to have a preset value in there and that's going to be um, HTTP www. and we are going to make a check um, later on in the script to actually make sure um, HTTP www. Um, them 10 or something characters have been entered first um, just so the script runs a bit smoothly and we don't really get any errors um, so that's a value and we're also going to have a size on this um, of 50 characters long just to make the, uh, the bar a bit bigger for um, long URLs so you can see what's actually been typed in um, so that's basically the form and we do need an um, imp uh, submit button on there so input type is submit um, the name we're going to have as submit um, and the value um, just be submit again or you can use shorten um, go and anything really in the value I've just stuck with submit because it's uh, default um, so if I refresh the page we've got something like that um, so basically what we can do is just enter um, put this in a header just so it makes a little bit more better there we go enter the URL the enter the URL into that and they click submit that gets them reposted back to this page um, where we will now do the uh, PHP. So up here I'm going to have if so if is set dollar underscore post submit. So if the submit button has been pressed we're going to run this club this code here. Um, so first of all we need to get the URL from uh, what the user has entered, what they want to um, what they want the URL to shorten to. Um, so URL equals dollar underscore post, um, and that was from the URL field. Um, now we need to um, check that. Um, so just create a check. Um, sub str. We just basically just need to make sure that um, the URL. Um, the first, these first here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These first eleven characters. Um, so basically, we're getting the first eleven characters from the URL. Um, so basically that's what that is, so that's just making sure that um, we're getting the first 11 characters from what the user has entered really. And now we're going to check to see if it matches um, 
http forward slash www etc um, so now if again so if um, check is equal to basically we can just put in here http www so if the first 11 characters are that then we can um, continue on running the script but else we're just going to say something like um, error that's equal to um, you must start with um, and then we can put something like http www something like that and we will echo out errors later on underneath the form um, because when it's above the form it looks a bit um, not not it looks okay but it looks better under the form um, so now that we have um, done that we've done the errors um, so now we can continue on checking um, running the rest of the code um, now this bit gets kind of repetitive and um, I suppose it could be done an easier and more efficient way but this is how I have done it and this is and I I think this is the easiest way to understand it even though it's kind of a long process to actually get um, the new URL so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video um, I'm going to type up this script and I will then just go through it because it's pretty much the same thing so I'll pause the video okay so I have um, entered these in here basically we've just got a variable containing uppercase lowercase and numbers um, then we've got uppercase shuffle um, so basically what it does is just it shuffles up um, the string so they're not in alphabetical order and not from 0, 1 to 9 they're completely random um, in a random order and then um, down here we've got um, this just basically selects the first two characters from each so after we shuffle them up we've got the first two characters from each of the uh, uppercase lowercase and numbers and then we have mix which basically puts them together so we've got two uppercase then two lowercase then two numbers and the mixed shuffle uh, basically then just shuffles up them characters so they're not in uppercase first lowercase second the numbers last um, they're mixed up again so it's completely random once again um, so by doing this um, the possibilities of having the same are very very slim but can occur that's why we are going to be doing um, an error message um, in a minute now um, so basically I'm going to put this into a part 2 um, because we're running out of a bit of time so join me in part 2 for the rest of the script